I used to work at a call center company, and my shift started at 11 p.m. Since training, I'd heard a lot of ghost stories about our building. Of course, I didn't believe them, and I really wouldn't have cared anyway, because all I cared about was work. One night, mm. I went on a short break to go to the comfort room. Our office is located at the left corner of the building, and usually it's quite dark compared to the other office corners. I normally use the comfort room in the middle of our building because it's bigger and a lot of people go there. But since it was just a short break, I chose to use the executive's comfort room because it was much closer. Besides, it was always clean and looked a lot nicer compared to the other ones. When you enter the comfort room, the first thing you see on your right side are two sinks, a large mirror and two lights above them. Then there are three cubicles on the right side and two cubicles on the left side of the room. When I entered, I noticed that the room was a little bit darker than usual. Some of the lights were not on, and only the cubicle in the corner on the right side had paper left, so I entered that one. When I was sitting on the toilet, I heard someone come in and enter the cubicle next to mine. And then I heard a woman crying. I tried to ask if she was okay, but she just kept crying. As I finished my business and stood up, the crying suddenly stopped. Concerned, I stood outside the door of the middle cubicle, knocked slightly and asked again if she was okay, but there was still no answer. I tried peeking under the cubicle door, but no one was in there. But I could have sworn I heard someone come in earlier. I felt a bit spooked as I remembered the ghost stories that my co-workers used to tell about our building. I started walking fast to the exit, but somehow the doorknob that was fine when I'd entered was now broken, and I couldn't get the door to open. I was getting actually scared, and the crime began again. I started banging on the door and shaking the doorknob, but it was no use. And then... The sound of the woman crying started getting closer. Panicking, I also started crying while banging desperately on the door. The crying stopped. I could feel the woman standing right behind me. One of the lights in the ceiling started flickering. And the door still wouldn't open! I tried to avoid looking back in fear of what I might see. But from the corner of my eye, I saw in the mirror a reflection of a woman in the flickering light. She wasn't standing at my back, but half of her face was visible in one of the cubicle doorways. I closed my eyes. I was soaked in cold sweat. I remember shaking from fear, thinking I was going to die. I started praying as I cried. Only a minute or two, though it felt much longer passed, before the door suddenly opened and a maintenance lady stepped in. I was so relieved. I told her about what had happened, but she just apologized for the broken doorknob and ignored everything I said about the crying woman. I went straight to the office and apologized to my supervisor for coming back late from my break. I tried to tell her about what happened and told her that I was not feeling well, that I didn't think I could finish my shift that night. She didn't seem to believe my story. I warned my co-workers as well and told them about my scary toilet trip. I never went back to that comfort room ever again, and eventually left my job a few months later. <laughs>